That's right. Mike Pence has looked a lot more like a second term vice president trying to clear out the rest of the field versus a guy who was just sworn in back in January. But Pence has got another 1,100 days before that 2020 election and almost 3,000 more days until he gets a shot of his own in 2024 under normal circumstances. But today, all signs do point toward Donald Trump running for re-election in four years. So. What's going on behind the scenes here? Well, several high-profile Republicans, names you're probably familiar with, have been meeting with donors, special interest groups, and making speeches, and they're doing this just in case the president is not a candidate in 2020. Senator John McCain might have summed it up best when he said in the New York Times, they see weakness in the president. And let's face it, President Trump will be almost 76 years old in 2020. The Russian investigation is still an open question, and it's possible that he pulls a Lyndon Johnson. In 1968, Johnson didn't seek a second term in office. He was worn out by the Vietnam War, among other things. He actually died three years after leaving office at the age of 64. The more likely option, though, the president does run again in 2020. But let's just say, for example, that his approval ratings stay around 33% where they are right now. It could be Jimmy Carter all over again. Back in 1978, the country was in the middle of a massive recession. People were literally lining up to get gas, and Jimmy Carter's approval ratings were somewhere in the mid-20s. So what happened after that? Well, California Governor Jerry Brown jumped into the race, and longtime Massachusetts Senator Ted Kennedy did the same thing. Both Democrats deciding to run against a sitting president from their own party, totally unprecedented. Brown would eventually fizzle out, but Ted Kennedy took this thing all the way to the convention, and that opened up the door for what happened next. The actor and former governor of California came out of absolutely nowhere. He won 44 states and beat Carter in the general election. That man's name, Ronald Reagan. Jimmy Carter still says the Ted Kennedy thing was the main issue and why he lost that 1980 election. It split the party and made him vulnerable, opening the door for 12 years of Republican presidents. And that is why the Mike Pence, Tom Cotton, John Kasich issue is so relevant today. Because if the president's numbers are vulnerable again come 2020, history could, and I say could, repeat itself.